Every once in a while, I second guess myself, which isn't too out of the ordinary, everybody does that. But usually what happens to me is I'll be doing something and I'll just start to feel like I'm in a rut, like everything I'm doing is the same and I get bored with my life. And when I get bored, I start asking myself the big questions in regards to my life, like am I a good person, why am I here, that sort of thing. And I think it's good to engage in existential thought every once in a while, but when you do it three days straight, that's really unhealthy. Traveling to theoretical land in your brain is very similar to going to Disney World. It's great great when you're there, but if you stay there for too long, it starts to get real expensive, and then after a while, you don't really have anything left. You've spent it all. Like anything in life, it's about finding a balance between asking yourself the big questions and then just kind of existing and being okay with where you are. And I say being okay with where you are, and even that is very critical of my situation. Sometimes I sit down to film a video and I just don't have the energy there. I'm just like, why am I doing this? Why am I spending all of this energy doing this weird thing, talking to a camera, and maybe putting it on the internet? And that is an important question to ask when you're doing anything why you're doing it, but asking it all the time and not answering yourself, just kind of leaving the question to exist as a question, again, very unhealthy. And I think what happens with me, and I assume what happens with other people, but I can't really know that for sure, I think what happens is that I get in one place, I do the same thing every once in a while, and after a while it just doesn't seem as good anymore. I guess maybe it's a form of boredom, but really what it is is I look at my situation and I think it's not as great as I would want it to be right now. And then I start second guessing myself, thinking everything I'm doing just somehow is not good enough for me to be happy or to get a better situation than where I am right now. And what I tend to forget when I'm doing this to myself is what I've done in the past year of my life. I didn't make a video last Friday because I wasn't really feeling it. And when I say I wasn't really feeling it, I just second-guessed every single idea I came up with to the point that I just didn't have the energy to make a video at all. And that feeling lasted with me for the entire weekend. That wasn't until last night. I had a really awesome call with, of course, my buddy Lucky. And I know you're watching this right now. I'm returning the favor, man. You shout out me out inadvertently in another video, it's my turn. And in this conversation, we were talking about where we've come from individually, looking at ourselves one year ago. And we looked at it, and in just one year, I was able to look at myself and say that I have progressed so far in my individual life than where I was a year ago. And yes, it is true that dwelling on the past is bad and unhealthy for you. However, it's not unhealthy to look at your past every once in a while. In the same way that it's not unhealthy to look at your future or your present, you have to look at the whole big picture of your life in order to figure out why you're doing everything and why you're doing everything the right way for you. Sometimes I let what people say about me, often uninformed opinions, affect me to the point where I don't feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but I totally am doing what I'm supposed to be doing right Right now with my life. And so hopefully that'll help me stop second guessing myself, but I know that in the future I'm gonna do it again because that's part of being human. Second guessing myself is something that I've done in some way, shape, or form throughout my entire life, and anything that I've found that I enjoy and that I'm good at, I will end up second guessing myself about that thing. In some ways it is healthy because I always try to question what I'm doing to make sure I'm doing it for the right reasons, but that can be taken to an extreme, and extremes are rarely good. So yeah, I definitely feel a lot better about myself. I listen to my own advice and I talked my problems out, which is something that I stop doing every once in a while because I do like to isolate. I'm an introvert, that's how I am as a person. But like I always am, I'm curious as to what you guys think. Do you guys second guess yourselves? What do you second guess yourselves on? I would love to hear. And because I didn't make a video last Friday, I will be doing three videos this week because I'm crazy. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so look out for that shiz. I'm pumped about it. I don't know if I'm pumped about it. Maybe I'm stressed about it. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Who knows? But as always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Feels weird to say that, but I said it. <laughs>